Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video and sharing with other people that you think could benefit. There's also a link in the description where you could enter your name and your email for a chance to win a 30 day free access to one of our two premium groups, um, Income Navigator or Active Trader Pro. Today, I want to talk about butterflies. Uh, butterflies have become extremely popular in many different trading communities. Most butterflies I see people uh, trading, they are close to at the money. And there's a good reason for that. Uh, butterflies that are at the money uh, provide several key benefits, such as um, premium decay, because we know that um, option premium decays fastest uh, near or at the money. Uh, they also have very little directional exposure when placed near or at the money. And also butterflies are a great way to play short volatility because butterflies that are at the money are net short vago. Now I want to talk about butterflies in a different way that I like to utilize directional butterflies. This um, on the screen here is a uh, trade that I did yesterday. Yesterday was October 3rd, 2022. This is S and P 500 and I was looking for a potential move even though you know we were up already over one standard deviation on the day and it looked like uh, s p was really going to start to uh, make a move higher um, we see that uh, we were approaching the um, eight day ema uh, my target was a potential test of um, the declining 21 ema which is uh, currently at around 3805 so what i did was I placed an out of the money call butterfly, right? A butterfly is um, made of two components. We have a call debit spread and a call credit spread. I chose to go with a 25 point wide call debit spread and a 15 point wide call credit spread. This made a butterfly unbalanced to the upside with no risk. My risk in this trade was the debit that I was going to pay to enter the trade. Initial debit was $3.55. And this trade only had 11 days until expiration, which means that I don't have a lot of time to be right. I need to move and I need to move relatively quick. So as we can see, this trade was put on uh, early in the day, paid $3.55. I was looking for a move towards the tent knowing that if the move does not show in the next day or two, I either need to consider closing out the trade or if I size the trade correctly, I can only put at risk what I'm willing to lose and not have to worry about getting stopped out. We can step through uh, several points in the day yesterday leading into today. So this was yesterday and we're going to go, you know, in 30 minute increments. We have a move that's kind of underway, but we're stalling out a little bit. And now we're at about uh, two o'clock Eastern. We see that we have moved. Um, we're still, you know, up over 1.76 uh, standard deviations to the upside on the day. Now we are at the highs of the day. Uh, this butterfly is showing an unrealized gain of about $850, which is equivalent to almost uh, 24 percent return on risk we're going to keep moving forward and now we go towards the end of the day so we're sitting here um unrealized gain of about 900 dollars. yet we still need to see the underlying to continue to push forward because if we stall here and you can see that over time right this is my um t plus zero line if we see the move that kind of stalls out, this yellow or gold line is a T plus nine. So in nine days, if we stall out at around 3,700, this trade could actually turn into a loss. So we can forward to today. First thing this morning. So today, S&P is trading inside of the tent. This trade is currently showing um, a gain of about 75% or so. We still have 10 days until expiration. Now, the risk isn't gone 
the risk is still there. If we see a couple of days where the market pulls back and we dip below my long leg, which is at 37.50, this uh, trade could still turn a loser. So what I would like to do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sell to close this butterfly. This is going to be a credit transaction. I bought it for $3.55. If I could sell it right now for about $6.50 or so, uh, this is going to be about a 70% gain or 70% return on risk in one day. So I just wanted to show you how I use butterflies to make directional plays. If you enjoy this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know if you use directional butterflies in your trading. And as always, if you take care of the risk, the profits will take care of themselves.